With the transition from the electronic travel authorization system to the new e-visa scheme, all eligible nationalities planning to enter Sri Lanka, whether by sea or air, for the purpose of tourism, business or transit, will have to complete an e-visa application before their entry to Sri Lanka. On the 27th of November 2023, Extraordinary Gazette number 2360-24 stroke was published with details on the new visa issuing methodology, relevant fees, requirements to be met and the period of stay in Sri Lanka. Controller General of Immigration and Emigration Harshi Lukpitya highlighted the operational infeasibility of the electronic travel authorization system introduced in 2012, which was regarded as one of the best visa-exempt entry requirements in the world during the time. Hence, the new and improved e-visa system has been introduced to to address the shortcomings of the ETA method. The Controller General of Immigration and Emigration went on to claim that the new system will ensure national security and address other related concerns including the large number of documents to be submitted to secure resident visas. He further stated that applications can be tendered in five languages at the moment and that it could be improved to include other languages on demand. However, while most nationalities are allowed to enter Sri Lanka through the new process, visitors from Nigeria, Cameroon, Ghana, the Ivory Coast, Syria and North Korea will have to apply for visa through the Sri Lankan Embassy or the Department of Immigration and Emigration. Those nationals will have to provide documents including a police clearance report, a certificate from a Sri Lankan guarantor, an affidavit from a Sri Lankan justice of peace and accommodation information. Meanwhile, nationals of Taiwan would need to select People's Republic of China, Special Administrative Region of China as their nationality while applying for the e-visa. Applicants can furnish their applications through www.srilankanevisa.lk and also use the same website to access more information on the new service.